Stop wasting hours doing your prospecting research. I'm going to show you how to use Perplexity AI to generate all the leads you ever need using a single prompt and only a few minutes. I'm Mark DeGrasse, founder of AI Branding Academy, and Perplexity is one of my favorite AI tools. It basically takes all the benefits that you'll get out of ChatGPT or similar platforms and combines it with live internet research. What you can do with it is called scraping. Scraping is when you find uh, you know, prospects or information online and simply pull that information instantly. So instead of you having to make a bunch of clicks, do a bunch of research on Google or other platforms, you could simply run this prompt and get all the data you need all at once. So I'm going to give you the prompt and then we're going to launch Perplexity and get the job done. This is perplexity.ai. Again, one of my favorite AI. Uh, this one focuses more on live content rather than uh, the database of content that ChatGPT usually uses. Now, ChatGPT does have access to the internet, so you could use the, this prompt on there as well. Uh, but I like perplexity because it, it really focuses on live content and especially linking. So uh, if you want links, which you definitely want, if you're going to use this prompt because we're trying to get prospects, uh, I definitely recommend you use perplexity. Now, perplexity has very similar uh, interface to uh, ChatGPT, but there are a couple differences. Uh, number one, the interface, the, the icons uh, are a little bit different, but you get the same, you know, you have a prompt in the center and then you have the data on the left. So here I am in uh, the prompting system, uh, but you also have this discover function. Basically, as you start to use perplexity more, uh, this will generate more content that's relevant to you and your interests and whatever your job is, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, you also have spaces. Uh, spaces are similar to the ChatGPT projects. Uh, which uh, allow you to cre basically create a distinct list of prompts or keep track of your prompts a little bit better. So you can see here, um, I have my daily AI news and it's something that I just run over and over again. Uh, but I could see the past you know, chats that I have in here. And I also give it instructions in terms of uh, what I want this to do. So in this case, the goal of this space is to provide the viewer with daily snapshots of impactful events, blah, blah, blah. And you can list, uh, you know, actually upload files and links in order for the AI to generate better results. We'll get into that in a later uh, session, uh, but just to give you an idea, this is this is what it does. Uh, you also have your library. Uh, your library is your previous thread. So this just keeps track of all your different chats. Uh, in ChatGPT, you actually just find this in the left bar rather than this clickable link here. So it's a little bit cleaner than ChatGPT, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, you can also expand this and actually see what it says. Uh, and then you can find your account information in here as well. So uh, that's, that's as simple as it gets, but let's go ahead and get into the prompting. So here's your prompt. I call it the basic business prospecting prompt. Uh, and here you could actually, uh, again, just copy and paste, and then you're just going to fill in the bracketed information. So I'm going to go ahead and copy it. I'll include this in the description as well. And then I'm going to paste it here. Um, so I'm going to pick a, a typical type of business that might be prospecting. This is especially good for B2B. Uh, now, you could try to target consumers, but uh, they don't list their information online. And a lot of these AI have restrictions in terms of pulling uh, personal information. So it's best to use it just for business information. So here we have generated comprehensive list of you input the businesses that you're looking for located in the geographic area. Definitely recommend that. It'll, you'll get much better results if you limit it to uh, geographics rather than saying in the entire world. Uh, for each business, provide the following details if available, business name, website, physical address, phone number, email address, and a brief description of their services or products. Again, just a basic prospecting data. And then uh, I added this one in here uh, just to give you more, you know, better data. Now, if you want more uh, volume, like more businesses to be listed, don't include this sentence. Uh, this sentence will start to basically filter the content. And if you just want everything, then you're not going to want that. Uh, so this phrase is uh, focus on businesses that are input specific criteria. This could be your industry relevance, your company size, the annual revenue. Um, now, all that data might not be online. So this is why I would just get rid of that phrase if you just want maximum uh, lists rather than you know more specific data. Uh, ensure the data is accurate, up-to-date, and sourced from reliable platforms or directories. This is, again, just qualifying the data a little bit. But again, if you just want everything, get rid of these last two sentences and you'll get a bigger list. But I'm going to leave them in there right now. So let's say that I have a hotel or an event space and I'm looking for businesses that might uh, want to have that event space. So let's say I'm going to target educational institutions because they hold X expos and they hold uh, conferences and stuff like that. So I could rent out my space. So I'm going to say generate a comprehensive list of 
let's say educational, educational institutions located in, I'm in Austin. So I'm just going to put, uh, actually, I'm just going to say Texas. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit broader. Okay. So for each business, provide the following details. We know what that is. Focus on businesses that are, um, I'm going to say, uh, you know, at least five years old. I don't want, you know, a bunch of, you know, brand new businesses that are not going to be into event spaces, maybe. So I want a little bit established businesses, we'll call it. Uh, you could put revenue and stuff. But again, think in terms of the data that's actually going to be found online, because the chances are that, you know, it's not going to, everybody doesn't post their annual revenue. So if you put that, then it's not going to bring you back results. All right, I'm going to say go. And voila. That's it. Now, this is what's called scraping data. Uh, and scraping, you could say, is, you know, uh, some people think it's unethical. I think it's no different than you going out and trying to find data yourself. So, you know, if you use it ethically, there's nothing wrong with scraping data. We do it, you know, just for our jobs most of the time. Uh, but here you go. You got a list. So, you know, uh, University of Texas at Austin, uh, Home of the McCone School of Business. Uh, you got Texas A and M. You get Rice University, University of Houston, Texas Tech, etc. Now, um, even though it said, you know, it's basically quoting the sources. So this is another big difference between perplexity and ChatGPT, where you don't get the sources uh, most of the time unless you specifically ask for them on ChatGPT. This does it automatically, and in this case, I could just click on the link and I could find another list of data. Uh, which it has here. So I just found the data in two different ways, uh, but this is starting to compile the data. Now, it, there's way more on that list, but again, I qualified it with that five years. So I'm going to go ahead and run this again, but I'm going to show you what happens when you don't include that last two uh, sentences. Uh, and again, it's just how, how well you think it's going to work with the data uh, or with the information available. We go pro, oh, I can do pro. Now, we'll, we'll go into pro accounts in a, in a future video. So I'm going free. All right. Uh, you can also put the number. You know, I want a list of 20 or the top 20 or something like that. But again, you get less each time. So this list represents a selection of the educational institutions according to search results. You could say, uh, you know, give me the full list. And so a lot of times when it starts limiting that, uh, it's just you know worried about processing power. So this is really the company's attempt to uh, make their uh, queries more efficient, you know, take less resources to give you a result. And so you know that's why it only gave me this. And then I'm going to say, same list, but include a website link. And again, this is just how you use AI. It's not perfect all the time. It didn't do what I wanted initially, uh, but then I just refine the prompts. And I continue to ask, and this is this is really typical. Now there are other pieces of software. If you want a specific uh, scraping software, uh, I would check out Browse.ai. Uh, Browse AI. You could basically go to a page like this page that we found here, and you could just say scrape this data and put it into this spreadsheet in this way. So that'll be in a future video in the kind of like specialized AI. Um, uh, but this already gives me a ton of information. And if I went online and tried to get this information myself, you can see how much longer that would take and how much easier it made AI uh, do this. Now, this is a really simple example, uh, but you could do the same thing for mechanic shops or landscaping companies or whatever B2B type of business you're looking for. And it'll give you a good result and a good launching off point to do your real research. All right, so there you have it. Quick a little intro into perplexity.ai and also the concept of scraping. Um, hopefully you got something out of this. And and you know the best thing you could do is just apply the prompt and start messing around with it. Change it, uh, adapt it, add to it, whatever you want. Uh, and you'll start to get the idea of how powerful perplexity could be. I use it quite a bit, especially when I'm researching for content um, or I'm looking for prospecting lists because it's just so much faster than me trying to get the information uh, uh, you know, by simply searching things online, it does the searching for you, which is what makes it such a powerful AI. So tune in next time. We're going further into perplexity. Uh, and what you'll find with these is we'll do about three videos per uh, platform uh, before we go back into the big ones like ChatGPT and get into more complicated stuff like uh, custom GPTs and spaces and projects and all that kind of fun stuff.